ever struggled with STI cable drums? Have you ever felt like, somehow, they are taking a little bit too much time before the show? Well, we have a solution for you. Meet the metal fiber. It all started when we had to live stream this concert a while ago in a big venue with almost 10 cameras that we had to connect to the control room. The cameras we use for live productions are exclusively Blackmagic cameras and most of these cameras usually require two SDI video cables, one for the video feed and one for the return signal which includes the master program video, the talkback, camera control and tally data. So that meant we had like 20 cable drums to deploy for the show and on that day I was way too ashamed to take a photo of how entangled and messy this turned out to be in the control room. So we thought, how could we improve that? We felt we needed something right in the middle and you guessed it right, here comes the metal fiber. The first product that we are introducing today is a worked camera converter which will basically take the two SDI feeds of the camera, the input and the output, and convert that to a special fiber connector that is designed for field and heavy duty use, while still letting you the ability to use the very popular LCLC fiber connectors. You can link two camera converters together with a fiber optic cables and this way you will get a clean 4G signal over a very long distance in the two directions. By the way, don't worry about the vibrant red edges here. Uh, this is just a prototype and the final production model will have black edges. If you have multiple cameras, you might not want to mess with too many converters in the control room. So instead of having to stack all of these converters, um, we have built this compact one new fiber dispatch unit on which you can connect up to five cameras. It will convert those draw channel fiber links back to five pairs of SDI inputs and outputs. And that's it, you just turn on your camera, connect the included SDI cables, power the camera converter using D-Tap, connect the fiber cable to the dispatch box and you are good to go. Your ATEM will receive a 4K video signal of the camera and at the same time send the program return feed in 4K with camera control, talkback, tally, everything. Now what's pretty cool is that with these products you can use three different types of optical cables. The most cost effective one is the traditional optical LC, LC system that you can buy for just a few bucks on Amazon. We do offer a slightly better solution which we call the optical basic LC. It is black color instead of yellow and features a more solid and armored design uh, with a thickness of 5 mm instead of 2 mm for the traditional cables. It can go through uh, a bit more abuse. Now, since this is optical fiber, the tips of the fiber have to be protected, so you need to put the little end caps on each time uh, you connect and disconnect the cable. So that's kind of the trade-off. The second cable system is the Nutrik OpticalCon Duo Lite, which features a better connection system and a cover that can protect the fiber each time it is disconnected. Uh, with this system, you won't have to keep a box with all the little LCLC end caps, so it's a bit better. Now, due to the design of both of these cables, so the LCLC and the OpticalCon Duo Lite, uh, I would only recommend these cables for fixed setups, patch bays, backup cables and cameras that are not very far away from the control room or the stage box. The third and most optimal cable system that we recommend is the Nutrik OpticalCon Duo cable drums. Uh, the rug design of both the cable and the connector makes this a very very sturdy solution that can withstand daily use uh, reliably. As opposed to the two other systems, the optical connection is very well protected against uh, dust and dirt by an automatically operated ceiling cover, which means that the fiber will never actually be exposed. It also features a spring-loaded push-pull locking mechanism and an excellent cable retention uh, utilizing Aramid yarn. If you plan to use the Nutrik cables, uh, you just need to keep in mind that to connect it, so you just basically 
push it in like this, it cannot be disconnected by simply pulling the cable. It has a locking mechanism, so to disconnect it, you need to push the cables towards the connector and then pull back on the spring mechanism like this. Nutrik also offers military grade fiber that is even more sturdy than the three solutions I have mentioned. If you are interested, let us know and as a Nutrik reseller, uh, we can have a custom pricing for you. Now, what if you are in this situation where the control room is at a certain distance from the stage and the cameras? There are cases where you might not want to unwind five cable drums through the same endless corridors. Or maybe you even plan to build an OB van, which for sure will be very far away from the stage. For this, we have thought of a solution, the Fiber Unite 5 6G. Just as the dispatch box, it takes five pairs of uh, SDI in and out here. And uh, except that here, it will merge all the fibers into one single fiber cable, which is called MTP12. You can run this single MTP12 cable all the way from the control room up to the stage. And on the stage, you can split that back into five separate fibers using the Fiber Bridge 5. We have also added an ethernet port, which means that in this one single cable, you will have data for five cameras plus ethernet. Actually, if you don't plan to use that ethernet port, the fiber bridge acts as a passive converter, so you don't need to bring any power to the fiber bridge. In the control room, we have all of the SDI ins, SDI outs here, five SDI in, five SDI out. Ethernet goes into one single MTP12 fiber optic cable. And then on the stage here, there's kind of a stage box here. Uh, the MTP12 cable goes here uh, and then it just breaks out into all of the separate five optical fiber pairs and uh, Ethernet at the back. The cable is called MTP12 because it has 12 different fibers inside. We are using five SDI ins, five SDI outs, and two for the LAN Ethernet connections. We try to make the system as flexible as possible, so you could also uh, use a Fiber Bridge 5 on top of a Fiber Dispatch 5, for example, camera one, two, and three, inside the MTP12, you will have one cable for three cameras and then two cables that are going elsewhere. Using an MTP12 cable just for three cameras could be practical if you have these three cameras that are all on the same spot around the middle of the venue and the two other cameras are in a completely different location in the venue. So if we take the original dispatch box, Three of the fibers will go into the bridge here that will then go into an MTP12 cable. And then the two other uh, fiber connections of the dispatch box uh, will go directly to the camera converters. If five fibers is not enough for you, we also built a Fiber Bridge 10 module, which is just like the Fiber Bridge 5, but can merge up to 10 duo fibers and two separate LAN connections inside one single MTP24 cable. So um, you could use two fiber dispatch modules and then bring that into that bridge 10, for instance, if you have loads of cameras. I have only talked about Blackmagic cameras, but of course you can also use that system with any brand of cameras, provided they have an SDI output. Uh, in this case, the SDI output of the camera converter could be used to show the camera operator, the multi-view or the program feed, for instance. And you can use these converters for other video devices such as uh, monitors, projectors, etc. All of these fiber products are available today and we really try to make them affordable. Actually, we will have a special reduced price for the launch. Um, I can already tell you that the price will increase later, but I can't really tell you when and by how much. Uh, for now, you can buy directly on our website and we offer uh, international shipping. We will also make them available uh, to our reseller network later on. Despite that special launch price, we are aware that the fiber solution is more expensive than traditional SDI and Ethernet. But I can honestly say, after years of weekly use, that the fiber workflow is one of the best investments I made for our live production company, and especially the OpticalCon 
enduro cable drums thanks to their really um, solid cable design and rugged connector while staying very lightweight at the same time. Actually, you can run much more cable length on an optical conduro uh, fiber drum than a regular SDI drum. Besides, the fact that we never had to worry anymore about maximum cable length and uh, cables running close to electrical power lines, ground loops, random electromagnetic interference, uh, not having to deal with all these problems is really priceless. And that's all I have to say. We hope you like these all-in-one little converters. Feel free to check our website if you want to know more. And if you require any further information, we'll be happy to help by chat or email. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon.